Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be re building and reviewing the 2020 Pantora 250. Uh, this bike is uh, kind of your higher grade uh, Chinese bike. It's about 2000 bucks. We got it on uh, powersportsmax.com, I believe. Uh, we opted to not have it assembled. I think it saved about 200 bucks. Um, you see it came in a lot of different colors. Uh, so my buddy got the black. And uh, so it came in a crate. And here I am starting to assemble everything. And the next probably 20 minutes or so is just me with a GoPro on my head. Just, you know, kind of taking you guys through uh, what it looks like when you, you know, choose not to get it assembled. Uh, and how it comes. And some things that I did differently as far as just making sure some... Some stuff was greased that needed to be greased and put some grease in the hubs and you know just kind of look the bike over just seeing the quality of everything so you'll be seeing that here but i uh, hope you guys enjoy this video um and if you're not subscribed please subscribe to the channel uh we'll be doing a part two where we take this thing through some trails and really beat on it and just kind of see how it holds up so yeah i uh, hope you enjoy this and Sit back, relax, and enjoy, guys. Welds don't look bad. Well. Might need to fix that. Finger caught in that. A little spur there. Front bumper. Again, the welds don't look too bad. Probably could have beefed this up a little more, but but these crash bars and these bumpers, man, that's what you want them to do. If you hit something, you want this to give away before you damage your frame. So that's not bad. We got heel guards. It's not bad. Something like this. That's how it looks like it goes to me. Plastic's definitely not as thick as your average 
cold weather, but you know, like a little bit of glue or something there. But all in all, I mean, so far, I mean, the quality does, does not look bad. Let's keep on going here. Put that is on later. Looks like the holes line up pretty decent. Powder coating could be a little bit better on here if you can see that that pitting right there this did not come on here I had to add that although the little coolster did come with a nice little billet cap I've already put this one together. I need to adjust the chain. The chain is super tight. So I'll get to that soon. Graphics are a little cheap, definitely. And they got beat up in the crate. Neighborhood's busy this morning. Just trying to decide what I want to tackle first. Let's get these handlebars up, and then uh, maybe move to the tires. We'll go from there. I know one thing I do want to do is check the air filter. Not only check the air filter, but Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber look. This is not real carbon fiber, but so this bike is supposed to be a rap raptor replica. Now I have to say it doesn't look bad. Made in China. You know, but what isn't made in China? Curious to see how this thing holds up, man. Really looking forward to seeing Jay run this thing through the trails. So there's going to be definitely much more content to come, guys. Our sole purpose behind this is to show you guys how something like this would hold up. And if you were to buy one, what it would be like. And some things that you need to watch out for. And also some things that, you know, maybe we need to change to make it more of a reliable bike. We'll see. Alright, let's get these handlebars situated here.
just gonna set them in what looks about right for now. We can always go back and make some adjustments. I do like the powder coat on here. This gray is pretty cool. It's kind of gunmetal color. All right, we'll leave it like that for now. This just looks like it sets on there. Yeah. So we're just gonna set that there for now. It comes with two keys, which is nice. Safety alert, ATV Safety Institute. Also wanted to note that it did come with an owner's manual. Did not come with a title. This bike did not come with a title, although the Coolster did come with a title, which surprised me. Definitely surprised me. And very useful information here. I mean, they kind of go through a lot. And I was ju uh, just kind of reading through here and um, they're pretty thorough. Alright, let's see, we got lights, kill switch. Looks like we got the choke here, so you don't have to worry about reaching down there, which is kind of nice. If you get a neutral light. Start putting this bad boy together. You know what? Before we ride this thing, let's give it some time. Let's go ahead and oil this filter. Check it out. Not much room here. I don't know what they expect you to do here. Just kind of push the plastic out a little bit, I guess. On there tight. Interesting.
kind of a pain. But it works. No grease. We'll fix that. I'm out of rubber gloves, so gotta get dirty today. Oh, I sat right here and started jamming to it. I was like, I'm gonna show her, I'm just gonna jam to it. This is going in the video. Are you videoing? Yeah. I'm gonna time lapse of this whole thing, but right now I'm gonna slow it up and we're gonna listen to this music. Is this the same song? Yeah. Okay. I, I'm gonna go crazy in here if you keep playing it. I can deal with it like for a short period of time.
silicone burning off the pipe. Yeah. Might have to adjust the air screw a little bit. That silicone's burning up. <laughs> If you ever get water in there, it collects down there and you just drain it out. It's warmed up now. do is we're gonna do it like half wet like half throttle just nice and easy just you know nothing crazy be easy on it for about 10 15 minutes probably do like a lap or two around the neighborhood come back shut it off let it cool all the way down you gotta do that about three times just doing the heat cycles on it what you're doing is you're you're setting the rings you know what I'm saying the rings around the piston together it went together pretty well man like you know it's pretty nice quality stuff I mean it's just going back and treating it right like any other bike you know making sure that it grease the right things that need to be greased you know what I mean just double checking everything looking over stuff hey I'm, I'm happy that there's oil in them Yeah, you're good. The yeah, brakes feel good. Your um, brake light works. Hit your brake. Yep. Yeah, nice LED brake lights back there. First light. Yeah. I'm going to right down the street a little. 
little bit. Yeah. Is it reverse all the way down? So you got... Oh, yes. yeah, there it is right there. Yeah. Yeah, so you got reverses down, then neutral, then first, second. Yeah. That's pretty good. That was easy to get to, too. Yeah. Right. Yeah, nothing crazy you got to do. It's nice and easy. All right, guys first initial impression is we like it it's a nice bike uh, it feels nice and tight when we're riding it around it started up pretty good um, after it warmed up it idled nice without the choke on uh, steering feels nice and tight um, did properly go over the bike um, we greased everything that needed to be greased we took the front hubs back off uh, greased those put them back on um, make sure we greased all the A-arms. They did have a little bit of grease in them uh, right out of the box, but I just wanted to double check and I was able to get a little bit more grease in there. Uh, we thought that the motor didn't come with oil in it. It actually does come with oil in it and the proper amount of oil, which is nice because after the break-in period, it's just gonna get dropped right back out anyway. Um, the headlights work nice. You got highs and lows. It has, four, it's a four speed. It does have neutral, uh, it does have reverse, which is under neutral. Uh, the gear shift pattern is over here. So we got neutral, reverse is under neutral, neutral, one, two, three, four. It shifts nice and smooth. Um, I'm pretty pretty happy with it. It, it feels good. i anxious to see how this thing holds up in the trails. Anxious to see how these tires do, how the suspension does. But so far, just riding it down the road. Um, we've done one heat cycle so far. We're letting it cool down right now. We're going to let it cool down for about 30 minutes and then we'll do another heat cycle on it and we're going to do that three times um, before before we're ready to rip this thing and open it up. And then from there, um, we'll do a couple rides on it and change the oil and then she should be good to go. It's nice. It comes with two keys, which is nice. Um, your brake fluid, everything was there. Brakes feel nice. It's got a parking brake on front. Uh, push that down. Now you're in your parking brake is on flick that back and now you're ready to go it does have your headlights here high and low kill switches on either side which is nice and this choke having the choke right here instead of being under here is just a really nice feature you don't have to reach under here fumble with it try to figure out where it's at you know it's right here and you know it's open up all the way and you know when it's closed all the way which is nice uh, one thing I will say is GBC if you're listening Hook us up. We need some new rubber because we do not know what Sonya is and we don't know the uh, The rating on this tire either. It does not tell us what ply rating it is. So GBC hook us up, man We know those are the right tires to have All right guys stay tuned for uh, some more some more footage